The next question is, what is loss function and what are various loss functions used in deep learning? So loss function is used in order to quantify the amount of overall error that the model is making. Whether it's a deep learning model, but also in general, the traditional machine learning models, in all these cases, we need a way to measure the amount of error that the model is making. And in order to do so, we are making use of this idea of loss functions. So loss function is a way to measure the amount of loss that the model is making, which means the amount of overall errors that the model is making when performing the prediction. So we can have a loss when we are dealing with classification model. We can have a loss when we are dealing with regression model. At the end of the day, we know that independent of the type of problem we are solving, we, we are always going to have these errors that we will have as part of the predictions. So we can never get predictions which are exactly equal to the true values that we want to get. Therefore, we need to know what are these this errors that the model is making and what is the overall error that the model is making, such that we can then know how we can edit and adjust our model in order to improve it, such that the model will make less uh, loss. Therefore, the idea behind the optimization techniques such as gradient descent, SGD, RMS prop, is to minimize the loss function. But to be able to do that, we first need to have a proper loss function that is measuring the overall error that the model is making. When it comes to the different examples of loss functions, depending on the type of problem we are dealing with, we can use different sorts of loss functions. If we are dealing with regression problem, we can use the mean squared error, the root mean squared error, the MAA, which is another uh, measure that is commonly used as part of evaluating the regression type of problems. So as a loss function, we can use this different matrix in order to compute what is the overall error uh, in the predictions for that specific model type. And here we are using as an input the actual values of y's, which are usually numeric values, given that we have regression type of problem, and the estimated values, which come from our machine learning or deep learning model. So once we have per iteration the predicted values, then uh, we can use these predicted values, these numeric values of uh, y hat, and compare it to the actual y's that we have as part of our validation set, or training set, or testing set, in order to compute the amount of loss the model is making. So there is always is this two set of input values, the y hat and the y. And then using mean squared error, which is the mean of the squared of all the sum of the errors that we are making as part of the model training, and then uh, take the average of it. Therefore, it's also called the mean of the sum of squared of the errors. So uh, when it comes to the classification type of problems, then the class in for the classification type of problems, we can use the cross entropy which is also known as a log loss in order to evaluate the performance of the deep learning model. This is handy when dealing with a binary classification. When it comes to other type of loss functions that we can use for classification type of problems, we can use the precision, we can use the recall, we can also use the F1 score or the F beta score, which is more general version of F1 score when we know specifically what is more important for us, the recall versus precision. Whereas in case of F1 score, we don't know or we don't care. And it's more that we want to have a good balance between the precision and the recall. Then the F1 score basically provides a 50% importance to each of those two.